Welcome to the Novi Conversation. My name is Steve Waltz. And I'm Jeff Pergolsky. And today, Jeff, I'm excited. We actually have our first add-on, one of our strategic partners to increase on this podcast. I'm pretty excited about it. How about you? I'm pretty excited as well. And in doing that, we're including our, our, our one of our food specialists that was on our podcast last time. We have Scott Barsotti with us. Hi, Scott. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks. Thanks for including me. Absolutely. And we have Rohara from To Increase. Rohara, welcome as our first special guest to one of our Novia podcast. Thank you. Thank you. Great so, to be well, here. So where are, you, where are you at today, Rohara? Are you in the States or are you overseas? Uh, at this moment, I'm overseas. Last week, I was with you guys in uh, Orlando, but today I am sitting here in the sunny city of Utrecht, which is in the Netherlands. I was going to say, I had to pull a map out when you, before you said the Netherlands <laughs> <laughs> to look that up. Well, we're, we're excited to have you. And as, as, as he said, we were actually at Summit uh, in sunny Orlando last week and a lot of activity at our booth, uh, especially a lot of food customers. And Scott, I think you talked to quite a few, didn't you? I did. Yeah. Uh, there were a surprising number of food people. And uh, of course, they share common issues. So a lot of opportunities for us. Well, great. Well, Rohir, since we have you on the podcast, you know, a lot of customers, when we talk about to increase and, and Microsoft Dynamics NAV, maybe you can tell our listeners uh, what what is to increase and wh- what do you guys have in store for us now and in the future? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so to increase is an ISV which means an independent software vendor. Uh, And what we do is we build software on top of Microsoft Dynamics. Uh, So obviously we do not build the same functionality as Microsoft already built. We are really looking and following Microsoft closely to see what they have in their standard solution. Um, And we look for for opportunities to basically fill uh, some needs that uh, customers will have in a specific, what they call vertical, Uh, especially today what we're talking about is uh, food manufacturing and food distribution. So we've looked at what the standard product has within Microsoft and we have created add-ons that uh, that can help food manufacturers and food distributors to work more effectively with Microsoft uh, Dynamics uh, Business Central uh, and NAV. Um, we have been doing that for, for more than a decade. Actually, uh, this year is the 14th year that we are in business. Uh, we've been building solutions since then. Uh, we have several offices. We have offices in the United States, uh, but also here where I am today in, in Utrecht in the Netherlands, uh, in India, uh, several places in the world uh, we are located. Um, our model is is 100% true partner on the Business Central side, which means that, that we build software uh, for customers, uh, but we implement that and we sell that alongside with partners like Innovia uh, to, to actually uh, sell and implement the software uh, to be successful. Uh, actually, two weeks ago, we were in your office to train you for a second time to make sure that all your knowledge is up to date and to make sure that we uh, work in the right way together. Um, and and that's, that's typical for, for the way we love to go to market and, and work together with our partners. Uh, we currently have uh, over 2,200 customers on, on various solutions. A majority of those customers are, um, are also using uh, Business Central in one way or the other. Um, so, um, yeah, we, we are quite a known name for, for those who are in the, the Microsoft Dynamics space uh, for a longer time. Uh, we have been awarded with, with awards like ISV of the Year and, and part of what they call the, the Inner Circle and the, the President's Club, which, which kind, of, kind of give us a, um, a good um, uh, reputation also within Microsoft itself, which helps us to... Um, to basically work together with Microsoft as well. Uh, We actually uh, just launched a new product which is available in AppSource, uh, which is food manufacturing and food distribution. So our solutions that have been there for for quite some time now have also been made available on the the online platform. And we also work together with Microsoft to make that happen. So um, that is in a nutshell uh, to increase. I'm not sure if there's anything missing from 
what I've just been saying to you. Well, I think you did a great job kind of covering the overview on it and di didn't realize all the awards you had. That's that's those are some some top Microsoft awards and and it sounds like you guys are ready for SaaS. Oh yes, we are ready now. Yeah, we've been working hard for the past one one and a half year. Uh, we have a lot of uh, additional functionality that we've built uh, on top of Microsoft, so it was quite hard work for us. Uh, but I can proudly say that we're there now. Yeah, that's that, that's good to hear. And, and you know, questions that probably I hear and Scott probably hears them more than me. If if somebody's running Nav, and they're a food customer, they're looking at. So why should I go from Nav? to increase? I mean, because really, a lot of what they might modify are things that you currently have in your solution, correct? Correct, correct. Um, so you mean, why should they use to increase uh, on top of the standard products? Is that the exact question you have? Well, I guess the question would be, if I'm, if I'm out there and I'm a food company and I'm running NAV, or I'm thinking about going to Business Central, because I'm not using the Microsoft product, you know, and right. compare, and, and, you know so I guess t the question I'm trying to sum up is, you know, What's the extra benefit of, of of going to a vertical like you're using versus what people will take a, like maybe nav and try to modify it? Because it sounds like you did a lot of the heavy lifting, correct? Right, right, correct. Yeah. So 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 uh, traditionally, um, people would would like to customize their system and they they do some customized development. But what you see more and more is that that. Uh, Customers um, also want to work with a standardized product. So what we have done is uh, some of the things that you would typically customize if you are a food customer, we, we've made that a standard ISV product, which makes it easier to upgrade and which is basically an off-the-shelf product that we have developed uh, and has been developed based on best practices. Um, and if you are in the food industry, you would you would find that that there are certain pieces of functionality that are absolutely critical for you, but that aren't necessarily uh, best practice in in a standard um, ERP system, uh, as well as NAV. Uh, you can think about uh, things like uh, advanced lot tracking. Uh, but also things around deduction management is something we've talked about uh, quite a lot last week uh, when we had uh, people visiting our booth, uh, rebates, promos, um, some things around quality control. Well, I can name a lot of pieces of functionality that, uh, that we have added to the product, which makes life much easier for, for any food type of company, so to say. Maybe Scott, you have anything to add there? <laughs> <clears throat> I, I completely agree, and and um, so you know the good things about uh, Business Central or NAV, formerly uh, as it was called, is it's easy to modify. Well, the challenge in the food business, and that's why a lot of food manufacturers and distributors would would uh, purchase the system, is that they can modify it every way they uh, can imagine. But that can also be a, uh, a downside if they're not careful to allow them to do all that. So a food manufacturer distributor working with to increase gets the majority of their functionality out of the box. And then they can touch it up a little bit if needed to personalize it to their particular business, what sets them apart and makes them unique if they so choose. But so many food distributors and manufacturers will will buy a number of add-ons and then that uh, what that does is is inhibits them from upgrades in the future whereas if they were to take a strong look at at business central and to increase whether it's on-prem or the SaaS model they would find that the majority of their requirements are out of the box and uh, that that is a is a great opportunity for them to to step into to the future, if you will, or or what we have available today, as opposed to working on extremely antiquated technology. It, that's good to hear, Scott, because I know a lot of our customers that not even outside the food industry are heavily modified. And you know, as Rohair said, is that uh, they. They've had uh, been in our office a couple of times for a week at a time. And I think one of the, the things that we're trying to do at Inovia with to increase is, you know, I, I use the iPhone analogy. You know, how much of how much of the capability on the iPhone or your smartphone are we using? 
And I bet I'm using maybe 20%. And I think, Scott, with your knowledge and Tom's knowledge and working closely with Rohair and his team, it's allowing us to really, I mean, I want to hear your your thoughts on it, expand all these capabilities that it's capable of doing. Because I think they have this great solution that has all these things to offer, but unless you have those you know, those conversations, they might go unused. And what are your thoughts on that? Oh, I, I agree. And, and so the opportunity is that, you know, almost every piece of functionality in to increase for food is used on a daily basis in manufacturing, food manufacturing and distribution. So it's a matter of educating and training the customers on how to get full advantage of that. And and that's why uh, the folks were back to give us an additional round of training um, because we've added staff, of course, and, and we need to keep everybody on the, the cutting edge of what this technology offers. We're, we're finding that, that often people buy software, just like your iPhone uh, reference, they've got it, don't really know how to use it, so they start looking for other things. What what else can I get that can do this for me? Well, indeed, with to increase, most of the time they own it already. They just need some training or, or just a little bit of effort to really make the the system work to their benefit. So, Rohair, anything you'd like to add to that? Well, I, I can attest to that, and and also, um, yeah, it, it's truly. Um, like you said, with that iPhone, I, I see it all the time that, that customers and users, uh, they start to find new things in our system. Uh, so, so it always is worthwhile to have, have those knowledge transfers. Uh, if you have bought um, a solution, uh, don't try to figure it out for yourself. I, I think that's that's uh, the advice that I also get from this. But also ask the experts to to help you find out what's actually in the system uh, to to utilize it to to its full potential and, and to that point i think that's one of the the values we like to to bring to the customers as anovia and as a representative of to increase use our regular business reviews so that we can continually help them to bring out the best of what they already own and and learn how to to better train and, and utilize uh, tools that they have that they just just uh, continued education is uh, an abused term often, but nothing could be truer. So great points. And I know, Scott, we have some customers. Is there any anybody maybe that sticks out that's maybe using to increase that we have or, or is considering going to it that you might want to use as an example on, you know, basically how the solution is helping them out? Well, um, we have a number of them, as you mentioned, on to increase, and they are all very excited about uh, deduction management, commissions, rebates. This is an industry issue, and uh, in most cases, they they just need uh, better knowledge of how to use it, and it will solve a lot of problems because they all, you know, that exists. Uh, Sunshine Mills, uh, Lundberg. Uh, Stonewall Kitchen are all looking to take advantage of um, this offering, uh, which is a, a key component of uh, the To Increase for Food solution. Well, great. I know Jeff's in the background being quiet. This is, you know, it's it's obviously not a technical one. So Jeff's kind of allowing me to talk because I think, Jeff, the last two times you didn't have any questions, did you? I think I think I might have uh, I might have chimed in a little bit. I was fortunate enough to um, participate in the in actually both um, two increase Inovia training sessions. Um, must have meant I needed extra help. But uh, as a as a pre-sales guy who gets to work with the latest and greatest Microsoft um, solutions, uh, it's it's great to. Um, to see Anovia partnering with someone like to increase because of all the added functionality that uh, Scott and Roe here mentioned already. And uh, I can see it being a powerful solution. I can also see in my experience as an account manager um, that the same as, um, as maybe just uh, people running base nav, but, but even more so in, in the case of people running a, like a, an add on like to increase so many times, you know, we walk into uh, situations, we're going through the system, we're doing our quarterly business reviews and, you know, 
end users are surprised by the fact that they already own functionality they weren't even aware of. So um, certainly with uh, with the uh, the power that uh, to increase adds to uh, to base nav, I think it's uh, it's even more important for us as a partner to be well trained on it so that we know um, all of its capabilities so we can share that with our customer. And I'm looking forward to uh, uh, to working with the pre-sales team at to increase to uh, deliver a bunch of uh, really good demos that inspire our customers and prospects to move to the solution. Very, very good. Anything else you want to ask, Jeff, before I go back to taking over the podcast? <laughs> no, I think I've said enough. <laughs> oh, come on. So, Roharia, it's so I guess a question I would have is that, you know, the neat thing was we were at Summit last week and you guys had, you know, came to our booth and we come to your booth. You came to our customer dinner. And I think it's good for customers to see that. But I guess, you know, uh, Things that we get asked, and Scott, probably Scott gets asked more than in any of us, is that, you know, so how does to increase support Anovia, or how does, you know, what is that relationship like? Yeah, so so that's a good question. Uh, I actually uh, enjoyed a lot uh, hanging with you last week again. Um, and, and, you know, one of my colleagues, Martijn, who has been over with you uh, to, to your office uh, numerous of times now, uh, we we both agreed that it is it's very easy and, and and good to work with you guys uh, because it's uh, from our perspective it's really a partnership uh, and and I think uh, for you the same uh, applies it's really a partnership and uh, I've, I've, I'm commercially responsible for for our partner channel worldwide so that means I work a lot with US partners but I also work a lot with European partners uh, even New Zealand Australia um, and I kind of know how to separate the wheat from the chaff as we say uh, um, wh where I see that there are Basically, there are two types of partners. There is the opportunistic partner and there is the strategic partner. And it, it's my my duty and my role to, to separate those two from each other. Um, and, and you see that once you, uh, once you put up some threshold for partners to become strategic, which means, hey, guys, you need to do an investment as well. I mean, I can go and do your demos. I can go and do your trainings. Uh, I, I can do all of that uh, without asking anything for return, but hoping that a deal will close. Uh, there are quite a lot of partners in, in, in the world that work like that. So they have an opportunity at hand and they say, okay, let me just look for an ISV and see if they can do a demo for me. And, and if it becomes a deal, well, then maybe we can take a next step. But uh, I can still remember the very first time I talked to Tom and I, I told him, hey, this, this solution is available for, for Anovia as well. He got all excited and uh, say, oh, is that solution? Uh, I know that solution from a long time ago. I would love to work with it. And, and we tried to figure out, okay, how can we become strategic? Um, and, and very f uh, quickly, uh, we were there at your office to do the training and there were mutual investments and there's a lot of uh, commitment also in, in the go-to market that, that Inovia is doing. Which, which gives me confidence to, to say, hey, this is really a, a solid partnership now, but also towards the future, this is something that, that will uh, stick, so to say. Well, I know Tom, Al, and our whole leadership team, we're, we're excited about the partnership and uh, having, having you guys being able to, you know, to support us the way you are. So, uh, Scott, any other questions that you'd like to ask? No, I agree. I, I just uh, I'll just echo everything that uh, Roger said uh, regarding uh, the partnership relationship. I enjoy working with them. The the solution is solid, and that's a uh, refreshing for me because then I can talk to a, a lot of friends and acquaintances in the industry comfortably because I know that they uh, are here to help and that we have the right solution. I'm excited that uh, we're going to be attending uh, IFTA. Uh, next week, starting this Sunday, and there will be over 600 food distributors at the conference. And uh, we're looking forward to to talking to those folks about to increase and what Inovia can do to help them. So for our U.S. listeners, Rohir has been very nice. He said, you can call me Roger. 
You can call me Rohair. You can call me Rohair, right? As long as they buy from you, right? I'm just kidding. That's what we used to say back in, in sale. So, but no, that's it's been very nice. And Rohair, I you know talking to you earlier and Rob that you guys are coming out or you have an, another offering. If you don't mind, if you could tell our listeners a little bit about what that is, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. So um, it's actually already listed in AppSource. Uh, one of our other uh, larger, what we call vertical solution. Um, it is it is branded as industrial equipment manufacturing, uh, but um, some people might uh, be more familiar with the term terminology uh, advanced jobs. So uh, what we've done is we've looked at uh, the job management functionality that's in standard NAV, and we've really um, created an add-on based on top of that which has as core advanced job management, which allows engineer to order uh, project-based type of manufacturers to, to run their manufacturing organization on a uh, project-based way, which uh, gives a lot of value to, to these types of customers. Uh, and I know that that's a large segment within uh, the United States as well. Uh, I think around 25% of the the current installed base is is actually um, focused on on industrial equipment manufacturing in one way or the other. A lot of them have customized the system as well. So um, I know you and I agreed that we will do another podcast later on on this uh, particular solution. So if that has sparked your interest, uh, please uh, look out for the the new podcast on that. Yeah, because Jeff, you'll be working with Narab on that, correct? I will. I'm excited to uh, I'm excited to be working with him in in that sense, and I think that uh, certainly um, our experience is um, when dealing with uh, what we might call job shops or that um, specific manufacturing sector. Um, being able to have a solution pre-built um, without the need for customization to uh, to give us all that functionality is is something I'm excited to uh, to start working with. So. I will definitely be working with Narav and be present um, at the uh, next training that's coming up, I think, in just about uh, two or three weeks. That's right. It's coming up. And, and Rohair, if, if they wanted to get more information on either of the products, that would be your To Increase website. Is that correct? Yes, absolutely. It will be on our To Increase website. And also, if you would uh, look for uh, To Increase apps on App Source, you would find them definitely. Well, great. Well, we appreciate, Rohair, you being on our podcast. And as he said, you can go to the To Increase website. You can also uh, listen to this podcast, obviously, from our website, from Podbean, from Apple, and all the different uh, podcasts that are out there. Uh, you can catch us on social media, on our LinkedIn uh, website, uh, Anovi Consulting, and we're also on Facebook. So, everybody, thank you for joining, and I think that's a wrap. 